Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledgeversity and here I am going to discuss the correlation, covariance and standard deviation functionality using the Excel. Okay, So, we'll, we are going to find out how to compute the correlation uh, using Excel uh, methodology. Okay, So, here what we have is I have got the nifty returns. Okay, So, the nifty return is there the gold index return is there. So, here we are trying to find out what is the return, the relationship of nifty with respect to the gold. Okay. Then I have a silver index over there. Okay. So, we, we will see that what is the correlation of nifty and gold, correlation of silver and nifty and we are going to find out the relationship of gold and silver. So, this is our idea. So, let us see to compute the relationship what all is required. So, what we have is we have the nifty values. Okay, Please note that this is a nifty value which is not the total return value. It is after con considering the dividend. So, the first value is on 3rd November 1995 because this is when the nifty started uh, trading, uh, a nifty value has started coming. So, this is not, uh, so if you see like then we have the 1 April 96 figure. So, what I would consider is I would not consider this 3rd November 95 return. The first return, the first uh, index value I will take is April 96. So, we will try to find out from April 96 to April 2012 how these uh, index have fared with respect to each of this, right. So, to f compute the correlation coefficient, okay, Please note that the correlation coefficient can be computed. Okay. For that, we do not use the index value. So, index values are not used to compute the, uh, compute the correlation. Correlations are there of the returns. So, we need to compute the correlation of the returns. So, for that first, we have to find out the returns. So, how do we compute the return? So, let we will compute the nifty return, gold return and silver return. As I said that I will not use this data. So, if I want to find out the return on the return that is produced from 1 April 96 to 1 April 97, that would be given as final value minus initial value divided by initial value and that is what we have as of now put it in our formula. So, if you see the formula, so we are saying that B4 divided by B3 minus 1 that would give you the nifty return and what we will do is this return we will drag it. Okay. As a result, we have all the values that is filled. So, if you want, I can erase this. Okay, So, I can erase this value. Okay, So, what we are saying is, we will drag this down Okay, and it will fill up all the returns of the nifty. Okay, Also, if I drag this across, I will get the gold return. Okay, So, if you see the gold return, your C4 divided by C3 minus 1 and your silver return. And next, what you can do is, you can drag this Okay, fill down the values. So, you will get the gold return and the silver return. Right? Now, the next thing is we have to find out the correlation okay, between nifty and the gold return. Okay? So, if you remember the formula that we use for correlation coefficient, the correlation coefficient formula is given as covariance. Co so, correlation coefficient if you are interested for A and B, it would be given as covariance of A and B divided by standard deviation of A and standard deviation of B. Okay. So, here we will use the standard deviation data of the population okay, rather than the sample because the covariance that you compute from the Excel, it gives you considering the population. It does not consider giving uh, considering the sample. So, this also we will compute the population standard deviation. So, this is a formula correlation coefficient of A and B is given by covariance. Now, in Excel, the covariance is computed using the function covar. Okay, so, covar will give you the correlation coefficient. Standard deviation for the population is used by stdefp. The formula for that is stdefp. So, we will use that and we will find out. So, here what we are doing is in this, this uh, here we are computing the covariance of nifty gold gold silver and silver nifty we'll see this okay here in this we are considering the standard deviation okay so we'll see that how this is computed but please remember this is the formula for the correlation coefficient and we will get the covariance and standard deviation from the excel function so we'll be able to compute it let's see
okay so the nifty standard deviation the formula is given as st dev okay so st dev p e4 to e9 so that is what we are considering so here we have considered from e4 so from e4 that is this value till e9 value so you will find that whenever this excel uh, you will find that this is blue and this is also blue you will find that this is entirely blue type of structure so you know that where you are referencing so standard deviation population of the nifty is known okay so th that is giving us the value of 0.33547 if you come consider this in the percentage term it will be 33.547 Okay. Now what happens is if I need to compute the standard deviation of the gold and silver, the problem is I cannot use this drag and drop. Okay. So if you see this drag and drop, what will happen is it will drop this by one value. So if you consider here from instead of this entire as the value, okay, it has selected this entire. So that just it is shifting by one. Okay. That is not our intention. Okay, so our intention is to when we are considering a gold standard deviation, we should get this column. So what we do is over here. Okay, so will this E5 is, is selected? We'll just shift this. So what we'll do is like we'll click the left mouse, left button, and we'll just move this, and then we'll press enter. So we got the standard deviation of silver. Next is what you can do is another way you can also do is uh, for uh, the standard deviation. Okay, you can put this and you can manually change. So here we are interested in computing for the silver G. You can manually do G4 to G19. That also is possible. Right. So this is how you have got the three standard deviation: the Nifty standard deviation, the Gold standard deviation, and the Silver standard deviation. Next, we are interested in using finding out the covariance. Okay, covariance for the Nifty. If you see the covariance formula, it is covar. So here, covar requires two series. So if you see, covariance requires two series. Okay, one series I have given E4 to E19. So if you see over here, this E4 to E19, this is selected by the Excel. Okay, another is F4 to F19. So if this is the next thing that is selected, F4 to F19. So if you uh, press F2 over here, you will get this uh, selection. Okay, because we are interested in Nifty, so this one is the Nifty and this is the Gold. It's not that like this order is important. F4 to F19 could come first. E4 to E19 can come later because the covariance. So if you see the covariance, covariance of A or B. is same as covariance between b and a so there is no difference so you can any thing can come in the front right so this will give you the formula this will give you the covariance of nifty and the gold so let us see what they have given so they have given 0.10064 please note that the unit of covariance the unit of covariance is percentage square Okay, why? Because the formula of covariance is the formula of covariance is given as summation of x i minus x bar and then y i minus y bar. Okay, divided by n. Okay, so and this i will be equal to one to n. Right. So the unit of this is percentage x i. And this unit is percentage. So if you are multiplying these two, the unit will be percentage square. So covariance unit is percentage square. So that's why you are seeing that this is very less in value, right? So it is hundred hundred. This is divided by two times, right? Okay. Then similarly, we can compute the covariance of silver and gold. What you can do is you can copy this. I think this is better. You copy this over here. you copy this and once you have selected they are saying that okay this is nifty and this is gold what we can do is we can shift from here nifty to silver and press enter so this gives you the silver and gold variance so just check out that this is silver and this is sorry this is gold and this is silver right next one you can also do is you can select this one and press over here but here we want the silver and nifty so gold we will drag it over here so we'll get the covariance of silver and nifty so once we have got the 
covariance once we have received the standard deviation we need to compute the correlation now what i have said to you is that cor correlation is given as the covariance okay so here if i want to find out the covariance of nifty gold divided by standard deviation of nifty standard deviation of gold will give me the value of correlation between nifty and uh, gold so this is the value that we have so what we are doing over here is we are doing over here j10 so j10 is the covariance so j10 divided by j7 j7 is this okay the nifty standard deviation and j8 is this the gold standard so j and then 8 so you will see that j8 is given so you will compute the correlation coefficient so j10 divided by j7 into j8 will give you the correlation coefficient between nifty and gold so you in fact you get that answer so this is please note that this is the correlation coefficient so if i make this better so this will be correlation between nifty and gold and that is given by this value so similarly you can find out the correlation between silver and gold and you can find out the correlation between nifty and silver right so these are the values that we have got the next value we are, we are saying is we will divide j11 which is a silver and gold covariance because we are interested in the correlation coefficient of silver and gold so j11 divided by j9 and j8 now what happens is if you you have to use you cannot like just simply uh, use the drag and drop of this because of the problem so if you dra drag and drop what has happened is silver okay so this is good okay but this is not correct because they have silver covariance is this and then you they have taken the silver standard deviation but they have taken the gold covariance so next this you have to drag it over here so you'll get the covariance correlation a uh, covariance of this two then just make it slightly better okay so this is the covariance that you have correlation that you have computed of the three okay now this you would say that it is too much of work that we are doing okay yes it is too much of work what happens is in your excel you have a function correlation so correlation function can be used directly to compute this correlation value so whatever we have computed over here first finding out the standard deviation and the variance that i can directly use the correlation function and compute so how do i use this directly correlation function see over here so this is a correlation function so what we are saying is we are trying to find out the correlation between e4 to e19 which is this data and f4 to f19 which is this data so we give us the correlation coefficient between these two numbers so that will give you the answer okay right so what you have got is you have got the correlation coefficient now one thing if you see over here this value 0 0.206233 exactly matches with whatever we have calculated by hand okay by our extensive formula so what we say is that yes this and this are equal right so what you need to do is you need to just expand this the problem will again happens because i said that it will not it will just extend this by one so what you can do is take over here and here okay so you'll get the value 0.49 and then see this you will get this kind of warning whenever they find any inconsistency in the formula that you used because they are saying that when you uh, drag over here so you'll get one down like that so that's why so you can just press over here and you say that ignore the error okay so that error will not bug you here what we are interested in we are interested in silver and the uh, nifty so we'll get the answer 0.55 right so this is how you will use the excel functionality to get a correlation coefficient between any two uh, variables provided that you should first get the returns of this variable okay i hope this uh, clears your concept regarding the correlation computation this is ratan gupta from knowledge varsity